He is one of just three players with six FNCS titles, placed top 10 in the World Cup, has an international land win, is fourth all time in earnings with over $1.8 million. So why does he not merit more serious consideration as the GOAT? Does it purely come down to the fact much of his dominance was on NA West? Or is there more to this? So let's hear the quick story of Epic Whale's career. Like many of today's stars, his rise began in the World Cup qualifiers. In the solo qualifiers after coming in fourth in week one, Epic Whale came first in week three to qualify. And in duos, he kept it dramatic, switching up his duo for week 10 and placing second, becoming just one of 22 players to double qualify. And in New York, he had the best combined solo and duo placement of any player. He finished in 12th with 40R Storm, and in solos, he cooked, placing third, earning $1.2 million. Incredible. For lots of players, double qualifying and winning millions would be their peak, but after the World Cup, he proved he was just getting started. In Season X, he came in fourth in trios, and in squads in Chapter 2 Season 1, he placed third with a stacked squad, Scented, Edgy, and Rex. He and Rex would team up for duos in Season 2, and going into Season 2, Epic Whale would make a crazy decision. He would switch from keyboard and mouse to controller. Through cash cups and qualifiers, they racked up first places. And in case people thought it would be dramatic in grand finals, it was not. They cooked. Yes, sir! Each winning their first FNCS title. And in Chapter 2 Season 4, aka Stark Season, he would form perhaps the greatest trio in Fortnite history when he teamed up with Arkham and Rex. And while people knew they were good, Few on the region were ready for what they would unleash with huge games, including a 17 elimination win. Right? Their huge wins and ridiculous consistency brought their margin of victory in grand finals to over 100 points, but they would not rest on their laurels going into season 5, qualifying straight to grand finals after winning the week 2 qualifiers. And they cooked, getting another dominant grand finals win. And just so this doesn't get repetitive in Season 6, they cooked again. Winning, but one team, Fav, Snacky, and Kenshi was starting to bridge the gap, as the region was slowly catching up to them. Even though they were so confident, they disbanded to give up their auto-qualification spot in Season 7, then proceeded to get first place in Qualifier 2, we cannot, we cannot replace him. but Grand Finals would be close. In third, going into Game 11, they showed they were so built for it. Epic whale chasing. He's going through. He's that's not so going to let this heal up happen. What a he's huge get disruption. He gets a knock, but that's what Epic whale. He was doing what he needed to do. But they were only in second going into the final game. And he this happened. more mats. They're going to need more tags eventually. And they need more shields. And they see that someone is knocked. And oh no, Snacky gets knocked. Uh, Kenshi, Kenshi's gonna have to do this. He, last time he was a solo, it was a 20 second, but now the lobby spray is real. The beams are coming through the triple spray, and now it's gonna let Kenshi retreat this back. Has to be careful. It's gonna get the elimination on the temple. They ended up going down, and no, they are down. First place is out of this game. It is now Arkham Epic Well and Rex's turn to take the lead and run. Winning their fourth straight, but all good things come to an end as they finished second in Season 8. Then, he and Arkham teamed up with Reed and won Grand Royale. Six championships in two years, a dominant run that might never be repeated. And in Chapter 3, which was duos, he would play with Arkham. They would start the chapter off slow with a 15th in Season 1 Grand Finals, but would bounce back with a third in Season 2, which would be the last FNCS Arkham played as he retired to compete in Valorant. During Season 2, an awesome trend would emerge, the return of lands, the FNCS Global Invitational. And we would be introduced to a new third-party tournament organizer called Gamers8, which hosted an international LAN with the best players where Epic Whale teamed up with Malibuka. And despite the language barrier, they cooked winning a stacked international land, another feather in his cap. And when he got back, he teamed up with Reet for FNCS. And while expectations were very high, they only managed 11th. But 
In the FNCS Global Invitational, they were looking to bounce back against the world's best players, and their organization TSM was going through a transition phase as their main sponsor, the crypto exchange FTX, was blowing up amid fraud allegations, but narrowly missed out on being in the top half placing 27. As 2022 became 2023 and Chapter 3 became Chapter 4, they looked to stick together and return to their FNCS winning ways. And in the first FNCS of the year, they placed 6th in what would be the last in North America West. This means if you play on NA East or NA West and you queue up for tournaments on those regions, you'll be automatically rerouted to NA Central servers and playing on NA Central ping. Now he would have to prove himself, not just against the weaker players of the West region, but against some of the best players in all of North America. While it would be a challenge winning on a better region, a win would validate his greatness, but in his first FNCS Grand Finals with Reed, while he did have one of the craziest solo clutches in history, they only placed 14th, and split soon after, leading Epic to play with the duo that has defined the current era of his career, Clicks. But in 2023, they started slow, placing 23rd in Major 3. But just a few weeks later, they bounced back, placing 4th in the last chance major and punching their ticket to Copenhagen, albeit in the lower bracket where they missed finals by just two spots. But if you thought a great player would go down and stay down, you would be wrong. Because in Major 1 in 2024, he placed 4th with Klix, his best placement of Central, and tied for Klix's best placement ever. And given the clear chemistry with his duo, we could see a championship in their future. Will be there. Good luck. So, while many put players like Miro, Taysen, Buga, and sometimes even Kami and Queezy ahead of him, aside from Gamers 8, he has struggled in the last two major lands, the Global Championship and Global Invitational. And aside from a fourth place, he has not had a standout performance on Central. But given his amazing resume, third in World Cup, the Gamers 8 LAN win, and six FNCS championships on West, he could be one or two big tournaments away from summoning to the peak of Goat Mountain. Can he be considered the greatest by winning one of these upcoming grand finals with clicks? We will be eager to watch. Like, sub, and check out our other videos.